Hello, my crafty peeps. It's Liz with Zana Lane Crafted. How's everybody today? We are going to be making some journal jewelry. That's what I call it. Um, we use, uh, there's some things that we're going to be using and I'll, I'll go over everything. Um, but uh, if you like what you see here, um, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment um, if you did like the video or if there's something that you want to see in particular. Um, and then if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button, you'll be notified of when new uh, videos come on out and uh, that way you don't miss anything. Um, but today we're using some beads. Um, we're using some findings like uh, jump rings and I have um, head pins, um, got different sizes, I've got some eye pins around here somewhere too, um, so, and don't mind the noise outside, it's just my neighbor bringing in his garbage cans, um, but yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some some journal jewelry. And it's just some added little bling to put on uh, your journals. Make them um, stand out a little bit. Something a little fancy. Um, but they're so simple to make. So I want to show you what they look like. Um, we're working up close today. These are a few that I've made this morning. Um, I had some wings, so I made a little angel. Um, just grab some some beads and just whatever whatever goes and you can make them as as complicated or as simple as you would like and what I do is I put them on a jump ring and I attach them to some lace so they hang on the pages um, you can also put them on the spines. Um, you can, in your journals, if you want to do a, a journal tassel or something like that, or put a little piece of jewelry on here, uh, you can use an eyelet and make a little hole right there and just attach it there. But I like to put them on, on my pages. Um, it's just like... A little tag, a little something extra, something you don't, you don't expect. So let's make a few of these together. Um, they're not hard. Um, there are a few basic things that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need an array of beads. Um, I used to make, I used to have a shop that I made earrings. Um, these are some of my earrings that I made with malachite. Um, some that I made with with skulls and things. Let's see if I can get these out of here. I think one of these broke is why I set it outside, but there we go. Um, so these are very similar to making earrings. So, but instead of making two, yeah, see one of the shells broke is why I set those aside. Um, but if I took the hook off of this, the ear hook, and put a jump ring on it, that would make a cool, a cool one to hang on the page, right? Come on, that would be fantastic. So I may even do that. I don't know. I have some charms. Um, these look like mermaid scales. I don't know where I got these. Maybe Wish. Um, I have some charms here where I've got some wings. I've got some beads. A um, little flower one or filigree one or something. Yeah, here's a little flower charm thing. It's just a, it's just a little flower. Um, and then... I've got, you're going to need a pair of flat nose, and they could be the little ones, 
or the big ones. Either way, I, I use both interchangeably. Um, you will need a set of uh, rosary pliers. This is just like my favorite ones I've had for like forever. They're, pfft. you can tell I've had them forever. I love them a lot. I've used them a lot. They fit good in my hand, that kind of thing. And then you'll also need a pair of nippers um, to cut your wire or whatever. Now, you don't have to use wire for these. You can use a, a, a needle and a piece of embroidery thread or something, and you could put them on thread and put tassels or, or whatever. I'm just doing these with some, some head pins and and a plethora of supplies, beads, and things like that. So let's let's just make a few of these together. Let me grab out some more. Oh, sorry. Let me grab out a few more of some head pins. Now these are sterling silver ones that I've had for making jewelry. Okay. Doesn't matter if they're straight because we're gonna, when we put stuff on them, we can straighten them out. So what you're gonna do is, um, let me put these aside so they're not in our workspace. Let me just gather these up here and we'll just get to put them over here. All right, so you take your head pin and it's just, see you how know, it's got like the little stopper thing on the end that's what you want and then i always start by putting a small bead on the bottom and it doesn't matter what bead it is um i tend to use like the little seed beads for this um just because they're small they're perfect and if you just go in here and chase one around until you get it on your thing. Oh, see there, I got two little, two little ones. We're just going to leave them on there. See, there we go. Started. Woohoo! And then you can put anything on here. It doesn't matter what order they're in. It doesn't matter what they look like. Um, any kind of bead will do. Wood bead, metal bead, glass bead super fancy bead does not matter so let's just grab a couple let's let's say we just put want to put a couple of of these pretty pearlized glass beads on here um and then maybe something in between and maybe another one of those there's one right there And then sometimes with these little painted beads, you have to kind of poke it through pretty good. All right, so then there's that. And you know what? Let's just continue putting some random beads on here and in between the pearlized bead. I've collected these beads for a while now. Um, I've done crafts and I've had a couple, I've had an Etsy shop before that, um, I sold jewelry. Um, so it did pretty good, but I, I like doing everything. So I wanted a, uh, I wanted a channel where I could do all the things that I love, not just one aspect of crafting that I like. So junk journals and beads and there's so many things that you can do um, with these. Um, I crochet so I could crochet edging for my papers or for the front of my covers. I can you know crochet little doilies or whatever. Um, I have options with my crafts now. I use fabric I could sew the paper. I could do anything with junk journals. It just kind of encompasses everything that I like to do. Um, so I'm really glad that I found that avenue for my crafts. So once you get on enough beads, and, and I, you know, that's enough right there, you're going to take 
your needle nose pliers and all I do is I just bend it straight over away from me and I like this tail end to be about the width of my finger so I tend and you can make this as long as you want if you want to wrap it around or whatever that's fine I like it about the same length as as my finger now I'm going to turn that towards me I'm going to take my rotary um, my rosary pliers grab just the end in about the middle and I'm just gonna roll away from me in one motion okay that gives you almost a, a complete closed hook okay so then I just take this and I close that little loop and then what you're left with is that if it'll focus there we go so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to take a jump ring and I just usually pull it apart just a little bit now these you want to see how I twisted that see how I twisted that with jump rings you want to twist them you do not want to ever um, pull them apart like this um, when you pull them apart like this it's really hard to get them back together correctly and it be a circle so you always want to take it and put it back together right back where it was so you gotta do this and there you we have our first junk journal jewelry okay so I'm just gonna set this over here and you know what let's make a couple more just because they are so simple let me grab another one of these and let's put a couple of these on here and it doesn't matter what color they are or anything we're pre-making these uh, what I've got here is some some nice blingy beads um, these little round ones right here are laboradite you can tell they're they're little stone laboradite uh, round beads and they kind of have that opaly look to them and the only problem I have with these is I have a really hard time finding the hole finding the hole to put if y'all see it pointed out to me because I sure as heck cannot see it anywhere okay so can't see it <laughs> not gonna use it um, that's okay. Let's just put some stuff like this on here. They don't have to be symmetrical. You can do whatever you would like. Oh, see, that one's pretty. So let's just turn that over, snip off the end. And we're going to roll it up. Then we take this and we just close that. Let's grab a little jump ring. You can use your flat ones. Sometimes it is whatever. There we go. And then just put that through the hole. And there you go. And there we have another one. And see how easy and fast these happen and you can make them any any size that you would like um, let's do one on let's just use one of these I guess or you know what if your beads are big enough let's grab one of these see these are kind of a cool frosted bead thing what you can do is just take a 
let's open your jump ring. Let's throw on a couple of beads here. Woo, okay, hang on. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see. That one might be a little too big. Yeah, that one's jump ring's too big to go through the hole. That's okay. If we had a smaller one, we could do it. But anyway, what you can do is you can take just one bead, if you want, put it on the jump ring, and, and you got one that's super simple. Now, you can use these little clippy things to hook them onto things. I like the jump rings better. Um, I feel like they're not, I think they're just more non-intrusive, but you can use whatever you want. Um, you can use, okay. Like these, um, this is a package of stuff that I bought at the last crafts um, bead show, whatever, of some copper things and some spacers and that kind of thing. But these would also work. Um, these are, let me get them out of here. They are ear wires. Um, and instead of being open, they are closed. And I can't get this open. Hang on. There we go. Just wanted to dump everything out here. All right. So these, okay, they are they're the ones that clamp in your ear, okay? And what you could do with these is you could take one, okay, and you could take one of the head pins. Let's grab one of these. May as well use copper. We're, we're doing copper. May as well use it. Okay. Um, take one of the copper ones. Let's throw, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do one of these little, little blue, little blue things on here and maybe a white one. And let's throw, A blue, oh, isn't that a pretty blue? Let's throw a blue thing on there. And another white one. And another one of these little blue bicone ones. Pretty, right? Okay. So on this one, what we are going to do is we're gonna bend it over like normal. I am still going to take my nippers, nip it off about the width of my finger. And yes, those little ends fly everywhere. So huh, I eventually find them, I think, or vacuum them up or, or whatever. So we are going to take the end here, a little hair on there or something, the heck. There we go. All right. So we take our end. And then if you want, as you can see, these pliers, smaller at the tip, larger at the back. So the, the larger loop you want, the further back you go. I'm thinking kind of right there. Roll away from you in one smooth motion. Okay. There you go. And you have your loop, but it's still open, okay? So then 
You take your little ear thing or a closed jump rope, uh, jump ring. I don't happen to have any handy right now, a closed one. Um, just put it on there. Then you take your rosary pliers and close your loop up. Okay. Just close it up so it doesn't come off. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Take this. Let's just close that a little bit better. Boop, boop. <laughs> okay. So now this is essentially an earring, but this opens. Okay, this hooks onto your lace. See, hooks onto your lace. And then all you gotta do is, I've got too many things here, is close it and you have gauge bling. Just make sure that it closes over the, there, okay? So now, there's that one we put on here. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Essentially, it's an earring, but it's also bling. That goes really nice with our journal that we've been making. So these are journal jewelry that um, you can put them on the the pages you can hang them dangle them from from the spine um, you can make them as short or as long as you would like and you just need a few little supplies and you can make just about anything anything your little heart desires so here's the few that we made to together and here's the ones that I made before so they can be as simple as a jump ring and a bead or they can be long and pretty if you have wings you can make angels or butterflies depending if you wanted to do like a butterfly let's just or a dragonfly rather let's just make one together. I've made these before. I'm just putting some white beads on here. Okay. I'm do one more. Okay. And then we've got a few different kinds of wings in here. But for these... I want to use these here and the same upside down. Okay. And then we need a little head. Ooh, isn't that cute? Okay. And then I always put a little teeny tiny one on the on the top just See, like that. And then again, to close it off, snip it off, and grab the end, and roll it up. And then just make sure that this top loop is closed. There we go. Then grab a jump ring, open it up, throw it on there, and look, you made it a bead dragonfly. There you go. That's it. Isn't that cute? All right. I hope you've liked what uh, we've made here today, and 
Um, again, thank you for stopping by and crafting with me. Remember, I am on TikTok at Zana Lane. I'm on Instagram at LizAlbert466. Uh, I am on Etsy at Zana Lane Crafted. And then here on YouTube, um, more fun things to come. So please, again, give me a thumbs up if you like this, this video. Smash the button down below to that you did, you know, really like it. That thumbs up. Remember, please leave me a comment and let me know um, if you like today's video. And uh, what if there's anything in particular that you would like to see in the future. And everybody have a, a great day. I really en enjoyed our time together. And we will see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.